This is the original equation. So I find the character characteristics equation. So I find this equation. And from this characteristic equation, I find the roots. So I use the root formula. I, I find, find the formula. Then I sub the B, the B, A, and C into this equation. Then I found these two real and distinct roots. And I sub these two real and distinct roots into the general solution, which is this. So I find the general solution. After that, continue to step two. So I compare my this one, the fx particular solution, with the one with the table. So I find the alpha is the three at here. So when I find the alpha, the alpha is not equals to both of the roots. So I just have to sub the equation into this. So I find the particular solution which is yp, so it's equals to c exponent to 3x. After that, continue to step 3, and I find the, I find the y prime, yp prime and yp prime prime. So I find these three equations and I sub into the original equation up here, and down here, until here. Then I sub, sub the equation, and I equate it, equate the box size, so it's equals to 4c equals to 2, and equate it equals to c equals, the, the c will equals to 1 and 1 over 2. So after that, and I sub the c into the yp again, so I find my yp is equals to 1 over 2 exponent to 3x. After that, I obtain the solution, which is the final step, by adding the homogeneous equation and the particular solution. So, this is the formula, the equation. Uh, then, I sub the yhx, which is this one, the general solution, and plus the particular solution. And that's my answer.